welcome back to my channel so we're gonna jump into taking a look at larry bird from basketball which you guys have mentioned saying that if i am enjoying looking at legends which i am um that i need to go ahead and take a look at someone by the name of larry bird so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into that you guys actually added a name to my list that i did not have so i thank you guys for that but now let's go ahead and let's let's go ahead and just see exactly what he's about let's go all right, here we go. So as far as who he is, so this is Mr. Larry Bird. This must have been a little further into his career because this obviously is like when he first maybe got into his career of basketball. Um, so let's go from that now to get a little bit of information about exactly who he is. So his name is Larry Joe Bird, born December 7th, 1956. He's American professional basketball Asso association american professional basketball executive former coach and former player and he most recently served as president of the indiana pacers of the nba so let's see here <laughs> as far as that he was born in indiana he's currently 62 he's six foot nine he's a really tall guy 220 pounds and he went to high school in springs valley or spring valley high in indiana i'm sorry and he went to college, Indiana State, from 1976 to 1979. And then as far as the NBA draft, he was drafted in 1978. Um, Sixth pick, six pick overall uh, by the Boston Celtics. So he was with them the entire time. And he played from 1979 to 1992 as a small forward and power forward. The number 33 was his number. Um, and then as far as coaching, it says he coached from 1997 to 2000. So coached for quite some time, too, for... Um, the Indiana, Indiana Pacers is who he coached for. And as far as career highlights and awards, it's a lot to run through. So uh, we have three-time NBA champion, um, two-time NBA Finals MVP, three-time NBA Most Valuable Player, 12-time NBA All-Star. Wow, NBA All-Star Game MVP, nine-time All-Star First Team, All-Star NBA, or, I'm sorry, All-NBA Second Team, three-time NBA All-Defensive Second Team, NBA Rookie of the Year, so he had a nice rookie year, um, three-time NBA three-point shootout champion, two-time 50-40-90 club. And I know 50-40-90, I have done someone else um, in 50-40-90. I know that um, Steph Curry is 50-40-90 as well. Uh, AP athlete, athlete of the year, his number 33 was retired by the Celtics. Uh, 50th, NBA's 50th anniversary all-time team. What else do we have? National College Player of the Year. So even in college, he was doing his thing. He's got number 33 retired also by Indiana State. And as a coach, as a coach, we have NBA Coach of the Year, NBA All-Star Game Head Coach in 98 for both of those. And then as an executive as well, NBA Executive of the Year in 2012. So everything he has done, he has done an uh, outstanding job at. Uh, let's see here. As far as points go with his NBA career statistics, he's gotten 21,791. So 24 points per game. Rebounds, 8,974. So 10 rebounds per game. Assists, we have 5,695, so 6.3 6, um, 6 average as far as his assists go per game with that. And then what else do we have? He um, is in a College Basketball Hall of Fame since 2006. And we have also medals for the Olympic Games in 1992 against Barcelona. He got gold with the men's basketball team. And then the World University Games in 1977, he got gold as well. For men's basketball so this highly decorated nba uh, legend here definitely has one heck of a resume so with that being said let's let him go ahead and show us what else there is to know about him while he's in action on the court ladies and gentlemen Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass. Oh. Very nice. Look at the way he's doing these amazing passes. Wow. <laughs> what? Wow, that was good. But he's, him and this passing right here. I love it, look at this, just. <laughs> wow. And I like how like he finishes the play even without the ball. Get it right here, I'm gonna shoot it in your face. He's always still moving. You did it, you look at me. I didn't mean to leave nothing on the clock. It's the first three-point contest in the I'm just, just looking to see who's going to finish second. It's the tie for the money. Oh, that's a three-point contest. And how many did it say that he won? Because I think it said three. Let's go back really quick. Yeah, so he's three-time for the NBA three-point shootout champion. Wow. And he was just making them like nothing. Like nothing, and you get what ten thousand dollars off of getting that? Is that what you get? It's absolutely unbelievable. Dominique Garvin, Uncle Cliff Garvin, Antoine Garvin, my Garvin, uh, nothing more. With eight seconds, Bird on the drive, the runner is good. Nice. Larry Bird is just unconscious. He called it. Uh, he said Rainbow uh, turns back. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! 60 points! He would do a head fake. Or he would do this, and the guy would turn, and he would just fake the shot. Look at that. <laughs> Opens his own way for his own shot. Just amazing. It seems like he's always watching the floor, like, for the next play. He's always ready. It just seems so easy for him, like a reflex. Let's go back. I want to hear what he had to say. Larry told all of us and the media, he said, tomorrow night's the last game of the trip. I'm going to play this one left-handed. And at the end of three quarters, the next night is Portland. 27 points left hand. 27 points with his left hand. And that is not his dominant hand. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Ooh. Wow, no setup, no anything, just straight into it. Oh my gosh. Not Hayes. His body was behind the basket when he released that looking at the shot. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, wow. Look at this. There to finish the play. Like, I'm. I could be wrong, I don't know, but I'm just like, he just seems like the captain of the team. He just has this whole like presence and confidence. It, I could be wrong, but that's just what it looks like. Like he's just kind of like the captain and everyone is just captivated by his, you know, confidence and presence out there on the court. How do you even achieve that pass accurately? Like he controls the whole offense. Crazy. And Larry just hit what would have been the game win shot, but KC called timeout. Larry oh. came back to the bench and you know he was a little upset. He looks at the bench and says, Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm gonna go right to the same spot and I'm gonna kick it in. Moments by one. Ames the bird, he gets a good shot. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Did the same thing twice. He would just flick it or tap it or bounce it for right. the teammate without even catching it. Oh, oh my gosh. He just knows where his teammates are at at all times. Point blank. Look at this. I thought he was shooting. Oh my gosh. How in the world? I'm just like, I need to pick my mouth and just my whole face up off the floor at the way he's doing these passes. Like, there's no way anyone should be able to be this accurate. Look at this. Look. Oh my gosh. And he just 
just seems really competitive. And like, he seems clutch, like he's clutch for real. Ooh. Uh, now, I've only seen a few so far that I've watched make a shot like that. I know I've seen Jordan do it, I've seen Kobe do it. Like, that is a whole nother level of accuracy when you're going behind the court, behind the basket, behind the board, and shooting over and making it. He is all heart. He plays basketball with his heart. Look at this. Ooh. Nice hard pass. Okay, so I have to say that someone down in the comments said that him and Magic are rivals. And at this point, after watching him, and I'm not even finished, but I can see why they're rivals because he is good. I get it. He's good and he's a great passer too. Oh my goodness. What a competition between the two of us have been. I think oh. the Celtic fans, I think that most of the arena and the Detroit Pistons forgot Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, like he just has that killer in instinct that all the great players have. He has it. He definitely has it. Look at him, the hustle. Ooh. And on top of all nice. these accomplishments and all these things he does, Larry Bird plays her. Oh wow, you got a black guy out there. Oh my goodness. He's out there putting his whole body on the line. Opening clip, he's sliding across the court. Very tough player. The Indiana Pacers pick up their level of attention. They smell it right now. They know the leader is not on the floor. Someone needs to step up now for Boston. Goes wild. Fracture. I dedicated 
my life to the Boston Celtics. My basketball career is officially over, and I had a blast. And tonight I leave you, and I say thank you, Boston. Good night. Amazing, amazing player. Aww. Oh, I love this video. Oh my goodness. Number 33, pretty sure this is when they retired his jersey from the Celtics. And well-deserved retirement of a jersey. Like, very well-deserved. Wow, I think that, first of all, this was a very well put together video to watch of him. Just seeing him get around out there and just seeing how he does and the tribute and I loved it, and I know for any Larry Bird fans out there, this probably was a very emotional video. I, I'm barely seeing him for the first time I'm here, and at the end of it all, I'm just like, wow, like, like he hit, hit, hit it with it within me. Like just watching him play, I grew just, just love right here, just watching it. So I know watching him play when he was playing, there's a lot of y'all out there that love him, and I can see why. And I love how Magic did his thing at the end too with them too and their rivals and friendship and just really just playing a great competitive game together. He was amazing. Larry Bird was awesome. So with that being said, you guys, thank you guys so much for recommending him for me and suggesting me to watch him. A true legend for sure. And I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys check down in the description because I want all of you guys, every single last one of you guys to come and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both of them, either or, if you have one or the other, just make sure you guys come and join me on there as well. And also make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell for more alerts on all my videos and I will see you guys next time.